Hi, I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Today I want to talk to you about mill stamps and sanding a deck. It could be spot sanding, be any sanding on a deck uh, where we want it to look uniform, nice, and neat. Uh, so usually what happens is when we have a mill stamp, which is mill stamps are going to carry a lot of information about the wood, if it's prime, uh, if it's not, if it's kiln dried, KD, that kind of stuff. And it's a dye that's used in the wood. And it doesn't come out by pressure washing. Some people say, oh, it'll come out when you clean the deck, when you pressure wash. That's not true. So we want to figure out how we can get rid of this and still make the deck look good. Most of the times, this will be the underside of the deck, uh, but not always. Uh, sometimes the good side of the wood is this way. And, uh, you know, sometimes people building decks, they're not paying attention. A board might get turned over. But however it happens, the mill stamp is facing up, and we now need to deal with that. So what we want to do is the best way is to sand it first when I say sand it first before we pressure wash a deck and if we're pressure washing a deck check out other videos because we want to either clean or we want to strip and we use a product first to help get that uh, raise that up off the grain off the wood and then wood surfaces and then we can use a light pressure to clean with but we want to address these first you don't want to clean the deck get it all ready to go and then go sand because what happens is I'm going to turn on the sander. It's going to make a little bit of noise. Just watch what goes. I'll turn it off and come back. I won't be able to talk over the sander on this video. So watch. We take the mill stamp. We get out to the deck. This is before we do anything. Start is when we sand the mill stamp off as you can see here I get a little closer for everyone what happens is there's a lighter area and in this lighter area it doesn't look the same as it does on the rest of the wood so now if we go to seal or stain our deck or, or any of the wood that had that those spot sanding and this could be anywhere it could be where the citronella candle was and we sanded up the wax it could be any place on the deck what happens is we go to seal the deck and we have one or two things that will happen Either we seal over it, and what happens is it accentuates the mill stamp, and you see it even brighter. It stands out instead of hides it. A lot of people think sealing or staining will hide it. It does not. But then also, we would have this all over, and what happens is you can see where the mill stamp was. And you can see the definitive line of where it was, and it's darker. And then what happens is these spots like this where the mill stamp was will show up all over the deck and you'll have these spots. So the best thing to do is to clean the deck, stain the deck, or I'm sorry, clean the deck, sand the deck, get it all prepped up, everything ready, looking uniform and neat so that when it's done, it looks like this and it's very even. So you either do this one of two ways. You either sand everything so you don't have the spots okay which is a big task or the big key is sand the spots before you begin to pressure wash to clean to stain to st whatever you're going to do do it first not last and a lot of people make that mistake then you'll get a nice consistent look on the wood you seal it and it'll look even okay so in other words always do your prep first get rid change your old boards out fix your boards uh, get rid of mill stamps, sand, everything. Then you go and clean it, strip it, brighten it, let it dry, and you're ready for your final coat. And it'll look even. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get some more tips and info. Thank you.